Welcome back guys. <clears throat> Welcome to episode 4 of Goodbye Windows Hello Manjaro. Today we're going to talk about a few tweaks that might come in handy and also adding some uh, utilities to your system tray. Now the first tweak that we're going to talk about is adding a terminal uh, to be generated by a hotkey. And so this is pretty easy. I did a video on this not too long ago, but I'm going to bring up the information on that. Okay, so all you have to do is, again, pull up a terminal, copy and paste this command into your terminal. What this does is it creates a hotkey with the F4 key that will invoke a terminal. It's a drop-down terminal and I'll show you how that works. We're gonna press enter. That'll, that's all that you need to do. I'll put this uh, command into the show notes. And now when you press the F4, you will have a terminal. Now, you can adjust that terminal size. In the lower right, you've got a setting for basically all the configuration options. But if you want to make it smaller, just use the sliders and get it to the point where you like it. You can change the opacity. Basically, you can change everything about it. Now once you press that F4 key, it's going to put a little icon in your system tray down here. That will also turn it on and off. Or the F4 key turns it on and off. Very useful, and once you get used to working with it, you'll be, uh, you'll be totally dependent on it. It will become second nature. That's item number one. Item number two. When you your system tray on default shows the time but if you want to add a little bit more information to that you need to have a listing of what Linux refers to as the time format now again I'll put this in the in the uh, I'll put a link to the git my github site where this these files will be located but you see up the top I have best format. Let me show you what that does. If you copy and paste, copy, and all the codes here, all the explanations for all the codes are here. But if you copy that and then right click, go to properties, and then where it says clock options, go to custom format. Take out what's there and paste in Oh, I lost it. Let's get that back. Copy, paste in the custom format. See what happens? It'll now show Thursday, September 1st, 5.16 p.m. Close that out. And now your time, your date, your day, it's all formatted correctly in your system tray. That's number two. Now number three, we're going to install some common utilities that I normally install. And I'll show you how to do that. We're going to need Yowert. And the ones that I always install, Yowert S, and we're going to install PSensor. And caffeine dash ng. Those are the only two that I need Yahweh for. So let's go ahead and install those. And it'll just take a moment. And you're going to say no for editing and yes for continuing the install.
and this will just take a moment to go through and we will have caffeine and we will have peace sensor and I'll show you what those what what utilities they provide now caffeine basically is a little utility that sits in your system tray you just click it if you want to disable your screensaver now when I install XFCE I always install X screensaver a lot of people don't like it but I happen to like it now I haven't installed it yet uh, so we're gonna now we're gonna use Pac-Man to install the rest of the utilities once I'm done then I'll show you how to get those set up in your system so now it's sudo Pac-Man dash s we're gonna install X screensaver we're going to install Redshift and I'm not sure if that's GTK but we will check and we're gonna install Synapse and we're gonna install Clip It okay okay so it's it's Redshift plain no GTK okay so now it's going to go ahead and install. The nice thing about Pac-Man is it doesn't really prompt you. It just goes ahead and does the installation. So let's close our terminal and we're going to go to our accessories menu. We see caffeine and now you can see it's put a little coffee cup into our system tray. If I click it you see how the vapors turn color on and off if you want to disable your screensaver, you'll click it on, re-enable your screensaver, turn it off. That's caffeine. The next one is going to be clip it. So do you want to enable history saving? Yes. Clip it shows up in the system tray. This is the default, which is clip man. I'm going to close that out. I'm going to quit it. I prefer clip it so clip it is now in my system tray and basically it's a clipboard it saves uh, all your copy and pasting so that way if you need to refer to it later it's all available the next one is going to be redshift now when I clicked on redshift you see the little icon, the little orange light bulb in your system tray. Basically, it's configuring your location based on your latitude and longitude so that you can set up redshift, which basically changes the color of your monitor so that as you use the monitor later in the day when more than likely you're not working under daylight you're working under artificial light either incandescent or fluorescent it adjusts the 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 shade or the tint of your monitor to reduce eye fatigue it works extremely well I always install it it's very very helpful so that's redshift the next one we want to go to it's in the accessories is synapse now synapse is basically a search uh, utility it's in your system tray if, if I click on preferences make sure you click start up on login and then close that out now if you want to find something let's say you want to find a file you want to find an application basically anything at all it's invaluable all you have to do is is hit uh, I believe it's control space now control space is the default hotkey combination to bring it up when the when the synapse pops up all you need to do is type so if you want Firefox it's 
it's very very intuitive so if you type fi it will automatically look for anything that matches within your system when Firefox comes up in the box you just hit enter Firefox appears it's absolutely one of my favorite utilities and once you get once you get used to control space you hit that you don't have to go into your menu if you want leaf pad it's there so I think if you start using Synapse you'll begin to rely on it so there is Synapse the last one is under system and that's P sensor now P sensor I'll show you basically what it monitors it it's showing the temperature of my CPU the various core temperatures along with usage free memory and temperature of my internal hard drives it's very very um, useful because if you're rendering video and things like that you might want to keep an eye on your temperatures now in order to make sure it appears every time you boot up go into preferences go into startup launch on session startup and hide the window and I'll show you basically what that does once I hide the window all you need to do to bring it up is to click the icon in your system tray very simple now in order to make sure these function when you boot up you're gonna go into your settings and you're gonna go to session and startup go to application auto start you can see when I deleted I, I quit clipman it took the check there there so let's make sure that all of the utilities that I just installed are going to be started on automatic when I start when I when I boot up my Linux distribution we've got caffeine clip it we've got redshift now it's not checked off what I want you to do is right click it click on auto start that will automatically auto start we've got screen saver we've got synapse we've got P sensor and we've got clip it believe that's all of them caffeine okay so I don't use power management so I'm gonna uncheck that I don't want screen locker I prefer screen saver and so that's all I need to do to my auto start now I'm gonna close that out and I'm gonna go set up my screen saver so and if I want to use synapse for that SC and it'll require more because screen saver has the first seven letters the same as screenshot so you'd have to type a few more but there is screensaver I'm gonna launch it I only use one screensaver which is slide screen I invoke it after five minutes if I go into advance I'm going to choose my pictures folder I'm gonna take the fade to black and I'm gonna to change to host name and time now that's all I need to do to to my screensaver now if I wanna again if I wanna interrupt the screensaver if I wanna prevent it from activating use caffeine down in your system tray so I have Bluetooth caffeine clip it Wi-Fi volume update P sensor redshift there's um, simple screen recorder synapse and this is my drop-down menu my drop-down terminal so guys I hope you enjoyed the video I will put the show notes in for the 
for the any of the files that I accessed um, so please rate comment and subscribe thank you for stopping by the channel and I'll see you soon take care